major Marvel characters from Fox are finally being introduced into the MCU. So today, let's talk about Deadpool and Wolverine. Hey everybody, my name's Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that notification for more up and coming content. Wolverine is recovering from his injuries when he crosses paths with the loudmouth Deadpool. They team up to defeat a common enemy. So after having Wolverine played by Hugh Jackman for many years in the Fox films, he's finally being brought to the MCU alongside Ryan Reynolds, who plays Deadpool. This is directed by Sean Levy films like Real Steel and Adam Project and Night at the Museum. He's worked with Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds before, so there's a lot of familiarity when it comes to all three of them working together. I was really looking forward to Deadpool and Wolverine, much like a lot of people. We are in the multiverse of things with the MCU. The state of the MCU hasn't been the best, and they bring that up many times within this film, but Deadpool and Wolverine is one of the coolest things in the MCU and one of the most entertaining films I have seen this year. It gave me everything that I expected when it comes to having Deadpool and Wolverine together and just having an absolute blast with it. Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman are perfect in here together. They have a friendship outside of the MCU and this film, and it is presented within this movie as you have a lot of back and forth between these characters, as you would expect, a lot of hatred between the two, a lot of comedy, but you have a lot of endearing moments between these characters as they have a purpose within this film as Ryan Reynolds wants to save the people that he absolutely loves. When you look at the character and how he has progressed throughout all of the movies that he's been in, he's a character that is now realizing what is most important to him. That is his family and friends, and he has to protect that within this movie. Now, the Wolverine that we do get in this film is not the Wolverine that we got in the Fox films. From X-Men to Logan, it's not that same same character. You know, a different variant of Wolverine that he has done some things in his past that he regrets. He has hurt his team. He's not going to be that same Logan. And I really liked how they were able to integrate that within this film is that he is down on himself constantly throughout this movie and he has to rise to the challenge. But bring out that personality and all of the traits that we know for Wolverine from the animated shows to the comics to the movies, there's a distinct style to Wolverine that is brought forth within this movie. He has to dig down deep to get all of that and realize what we know and love for Wolverine may not fully be in effect within this film, but it is a chance to develop what we absolutely know about Wolverine and what we love about that character. And Hugh Jackman, once again, does a great job playing Wolverine. Like I said, it's not the same version, so you're gonna get a different personality style to him. He's still loud, he's still vulgar at times, but Hugh Jackman goes all in with this role. It's hilarious, but also there's a lot of emotion behind it, which I was very surprised with. The one thing I appreciate about the first two Deadpool films is that, yes, it has a lot of comedy, but you also have a lot of heart to it. And that's the same case for this movie, is that you have a lot of comedy, but you also have a lot of passion and a lot of personal moments that come forth within this film when it comes to Deadpool and Wolverine's storyline. Now the comedy in here is top notch. I was constantly laughing throughout this film. If it's discussing the current state of the MCU in films and shows after Endgame, there's a lot of breaking that fourth wall. You are constantly discussing Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds as people and the MCU films and just pop culture references left and right. I was laughing so much. A lot of the jokes are very clever in here and it just adds to the comedy of Deadpool and just doing something brand new with the MCU. We haven't got a film like this in the MCU when it comes to the comedy and the violence and how they pair very nicely together. There's a lot of violence in here. Heads being ripped off, blood left and right, just constantly filling the screen. It's got your classic distinct style from Deadpool and Wolverine within here they go full r rated within this movie and it's very entertaining there's a couple shots in here that sean levy is able to just let the camera roll and have all your cgi and everything but a lot of the action you just go full on and feel that intensity rise throughout this movie and there was a sense of urgency throughout this movie i think that it's been lacking 
with the MCU with some recent shows and movies is that you feel like there's not a lot at stake. You do feel like there is a villain in the movie or show and they have their agenda, but it never really feels like it's absolutely urgent. I haven't felt that way since Infinity War and Endgame, Spider-Man No Way Home. But with this film, there is a clear sense of urgency and a purpose for Deadpool and Wolverine immediately in the beginning. And they have, and there's time that is running out. And so throughout this whole entire film, even if there was downtime, you still felt like there was urgency clouding this movie. And that was missing for a lot of the MCU movies and shows is that there's that lack of intensity, a lack of urgency in most of the movies and shows. And it's very strong within this film. And it does allow for these characters to rise to the challenge, realize things about themselves. How can they be that hero? Not that they need, but people need. And realizing what it means to be that hero. And it's a very strong storyline within here. And Emma Corrin as Cassandra Nova does a great job of bringing that intensity to the film. Being the villain, the urgency surrounding the state of the TVA and Deadpool and Wolverine's limited time within this film and how they are tasked with saving the current timeline that Deadpool lives in. And Cassandra Nova is very intimidating in here. She has powers very similar to her brother, Professor X, and we see those used for the wrong way within this movie. And she just adds a lot to that urgency. And being a very intimidating villain, not a lot of depth given to her, a lot of background to this character but you don't need so much of that when you are introduced to her in her world and how she is very manipulative and she gets what she wants now we get a lot of cameos and i know that some trailers have spoiled some cameos and there's been some speculations but with it being a multiverse film very similar to no way home you're gonna get a lot of crowd pleasing moments there were a few cameos that I was cheering. I typically don't cheer within movies. And you hear the audience that were cheering as well. There is many, many cameos in here. And with it being in the multiverse, these are cameos I think that were very earned and better cameos than we have for previous MCU films. You think about like Doctor Strange, the second film, and how he had a lot of cameos that felt a little bit wasted here within this film they let it breathe a little bit and have a lot of fun with it and it's just a chance to respect previous films and previous actors and actresses that have been in marvel properties is a chance to respect them and have a fun time with these characters so the cameo side of it all i was looking forward to and i think it really did deliver on what i wanted and have a lot of fun and have a lot of fun cameos in here that really could shake up the MCU moving forward. I love the heart to it. I love the performances from Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. There's a lot of energy to this film. The soundtrack is very loud. It's in your face. It adds to the fun action packed scenes within this movie. It's everything I want from a Deadpool and Wolverine film. And there's a lot of arguments about that bringing Wolverine into this film and making him a joke ruins the legacy of Wolverine from the previous films, especially Logan. No film will ruin my thoughts of Logan. Within the first five minutes, they are making jokes about Logan. But my thoughts about Logan still are the same after watching that movie. And this film does a great job of respecting what that character was while also having some fun with it. It bridges the Fox films into this movie but also realizing we're now in the MCU and things are going to be different and they have comedy for it all and poking a lot of fun at everything that was in the Fox films and the MCU, but also there's this sense of respect and understanding what came forth and how we could pay homage to that moving forward and currently, but also trying something new. I had a lot of fun with Deadpool and Wolverine. I loved the characters. I loved the actors. The cameos were great. The action was fun. Everything I would want from a film that would introduce a lot of cameos and the multiverse and connecting to television shows like the TVA. There's a lot in here to appreciate and a lot of entertaining moments and it's just constantly flowing. 
When I heard that they were going to have a Deadpool film into the MCU with Disney, I was very worried about it being PG-13, slowing down the action and comedy and just kind of being tame a little bit. That's not Deadpool. And they took a huge risk and I think it's going to pay off for them. Before I give you my score for Deadpool and Wolverine, make sure to check out my channel here. I do movie reviews, trailer actions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here. So hit that subscribe button and get it all in one spot. If you like to see where Deadpool and Wolverine rank amongst all the other 2024 releases I've seen this year, follow me on Letterboxd and there you can find my ranking. I'm gonna go ahead and give Deadpool and Wolverine an A. Thank you guys for checking out my review for Deadpool and Wolverine, the new MCU film. Have you guys seen it by chance? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.